Uh, hello, my name is Matthew, and I'd like to try to tell you a dirty story. And it's a work story. Uh, I work at a large retail company in North America, and uh, we rent out, one of the things that we do is uh, we rent out uh, carpet cleaners uh, for people to go home. And if you don't know what a carpet cleaner is, it's uh, sort of like a vacuum cleaner except that it shoots soapy water uh, into the carpeting and then somehow sucks it back up. It's sort of like running your carpet through a car wash. And they're fairly, these carpet cleaners are fairly popular. We rent them out uh, quite often. We have maybe five or six of these things and they come with um, uh, the option of having a brush attachment and so we have these uh, mesh bags that'll have the 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 vacuum tubes with the uh, brush head on it you can rent that as well and we don't really have too many uh, issues with these things we actually have uh, a service that comes in um, periodically to uh, service these um, carpet cleaners. And I don't know how they work. I don't really know very much um, about the mechanics of them. I just know how to rent them out and how to check them uh, back in. And a couple days ago, uh, a husband and wife came in and uh, needed, needed to rent one of these things. Uh, I don't really understand what set of circumstances leads someone to Need, need to use one of these, but uh, they, they needed it. And uh, it's uh, just a regular procedure for me. Um, you pick the uh, carpet cleaner, they wanted the uh, brush attachment, we go through a rental contract, uh, there's a deposit, they take the carpet cleaner and the brush attachment, and off they go. And maybe like an hour or two hours go by and the husband uh, comes back into the store. And I see him, I remember him, and I say, oh, okay, you're, you're done with your uh, carpet cleaner. And he goes, no, the brush attachment is not the right one. And for these carpet cleaners, uh, there's, there's a little section where there's a row of carpet cleaners, and then above it, there's a row of um, these brush attachments. And they're identical. So they're all the same cleaners, and then these little bags that are all the same accessory. There's no way uh, to mix them up because they're all the same. And at the time, uh, we only had one other brush attachment. He had one and we still had one in the store. Other ones had been uh, rented out. <clears throat> and I say, we can, we can give you the other one, but it's identical. And he shows me these pictures and he says, well, there's, two, there's uh, an outlet on the carpet cleaner where the tube would go into. And he shows me a picture where um, the outlet pipe is the same size and diameter as the vacuum tube. And so there's no way of screwing them together or inserting them together or any way to make a seal. They just sort of uh, butt up, the two pipes butt up against each other uh, flush. And I say, well, we can look at the other uh, accessory bag and we, we look at it and he goes, nope, it has the same problem. It's not the right uh, tube for the machine. And I go, well, th these are the only two that we have. And he goes, well, what do we do now? And I say, well, you can bring the machine back and we'll just refund your money. But we don't have any other additional uh, carpet cleaners or accessories to offer so we can just return it and he goes well I'd like to speak to a manager 
and I say that's that's fine. I had another coworker who uh, was who is much more experienced than me and um, knows about all this stuff much more than I do. Not that she knows anything about uh, how a carpet cleaner works, but the procedures of the store. And she, she agreed with everything that I had said. It's our, our only option. Uh, but I called a manager, and we had a manager come out, and they, uh, they, they, they look at it, they look at the machine, they look at the accessories, and I can kind of see what they're doing, but I'm doing other work. And uh, the customer leaves, and the manager leaves. And the, the person that's much more experienced than myself uh, comes over and goes, he was using the accessory wrong. And she says, come over to the carpet cleaner and I'll show you. So we go over to the carpet cleaner and on the back of the machine, there's two outlets. So uh, one is going to be um, an input for water. It's going to be the, the inflow of uh, the water going into the machine. And then there's going to be uh, another outlet for the water to escape. And so she's showing that one side uh, of the outlet is tapered for where the accessory would click into. Uh, whereas the customer was putting the tube into the wrong hole. That was the issue. And she's explaining this to me. And I say, his poor wife. And there was uh, a few seconds of pause uh, before my customer, uh, my coworker uh, got the joke. So uh, <laughs> uh, that's my uh, story about uh, a carpet cleaner and a dirty little joke. Uh, <laughs> Let me know if the punchline was worth all of the setup. Thank you for watching and take care.